If you look at the official polls, it's the centrist Emmanuel Macron who is marching towards victory. Marine Le Pen and the National Front have now fallen just a step behind. And Francois Fillon facing an electoral free-fall after being mired in allegations about paying his wife nearly a million dollars for a fake job. Except if you read the Russian press, they say he's back on top. That claim earned a stern rebuke from the French polling commission in Paris, who warned it came from a survey that did not properly represent public opinion. Sputnik is a state-owned Russian news agency. It quoted the results of a social media survey conducted by a firm based in Moscow, which surprisingly showed that Francois Fillon was back at the head of the race for the French presidency. Such surveys could be a more accurate way of sampling changing opinion, but they could also be a way for the Kremlin to plant fake news. Francois Fillon was and still is their candidate. Francois Fillon doesn't want to break up uh, the European Union, but he wants uh, to include somehow Russia. But one pollster in Paris who has developed his own social media app to tap into political opinion on the web has also found Fillon on top, with Macron trailing a poor third. We believe you need to open up and leave everybody express their opinion on the 24 by 7 and then at the end you kind of start to see some trends and that's what we uh, pick up quite well. This conventional like, uh, pollster who publishes his results in the left-wing paper Liberation admits they could be staring at a large margin of error. Polling uh, in fact is just a thermometer, it's like a picture of a right moment of the opinion, it's not the perfect illustration of what people think, what people will do, what people will vote. The fate of the European Union and the Euro rest on the result of the French presidential election. Is another popular upheaval on the way? Nobody here is quite sure. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Paris.